Greetings, viewers. Welcome to the path. It's everyone's favorite prick here, Lambert. Alongside with me is the legend himself. The Butcher of Blavica, the White Wolf, Gwyn Bledded, or as I know him, the grumpy old man himself, Geralt of Rivia. Lambert. Lambert. What a introduction. Greetings all. Geralt here. Thank you so much for joining us on our journey down memory road. Lambert wished to see my journey to find Ciri. So here we are, living it as its real life. Lambert and I will trade control of this dream state as my one Edumancer assists us to relive the past. Please, if you'd like to see more, share the video, like, and subscribe. We'll attempt to be quiet in majority of cutscenes or dialogue. No promises on loud mouth over here. Listen, Wolf. I will slice through you like carving up a cake if you keep this up. I'm extremely excited to see all of your journey. Hopefully we can skip some of the boring bits, though. The endless hours of searching the sea for treasure and diagrams will be exhausting. Don't want to get your hair wet, Lamber? You'll get that wish, though. I plan to omit the crafting, buying and selling and any other distractions, as long as it's not a essential quest to the story. For instance, I may not show every Gwent game, but I will, if they involve the tournaments, the quests themselves, or if Lambert is really struggling. My name is Lambert, not whatever the hell you just said it was. Are you becoming senile in your old age? Anyways, I believe we can fast forward through this, but I find it difficult as the music goes so hard. Plus, it adds additional context to your search for your violet-eyed she-devil. Mm-hmm. Lambert, I'd be careful of what you say. We are not alone in this dream sequence. Yen could be ready to blast you into oblivion. So mind your tongue, swine. I'm agreement with you, though. The masterful job in this flashback really sets the mood for the chase of not just her, but the whole journey. You up for a little game of chance, Geralt? I have 500 Novigrad crowns that you'll die in this dream first, before I do. You may have experience, but I have agility and superior looks that- Mm-hmm. Let's make it 1,000 of my Novigrad crowns, but if you lose, you have to dress up for Kira on your next trip to Skellige. You're on Wolf. So weird question, but why did Yennefer have to absolutely decimated that poor raven like that? Does she just have it in for helpless little beings like yourself? Lambert, you are playing with fire. I may have reservations to kill you, but Yen shall not. I guess I shall live it up in this dream then. So there is that crystal raven's skull, and there is a beautiful tree, while there is a campfire with two old geezers taking a snooze. God, the path has took its toll on you. Look at that mug. Even your dry-ass humor isn't going to alter this moment of pure nostalgia. These days at Kaer Morhen were the best. Warm baths, calmness around, and no worries to be had. I miss those days too, especially yelling at Ciri, training her for duels with the great evils ahead. Plus, mocking Marigold and you the entire winter? Loved it. Watch out Geralt. Protect the balls at all cost. Ouch! Thankfully witchers are sterile already, or you might have been after that one. No free looks here, yeah, Lambert. I don't find that amused thought. Thankfully it's my dream, so I can distort the images you can see. As much slander you have been spitting about Yin, you are not going to be able to appreciate her assets. Blast it, Geralt! You really are no fun! It's not hard to outsmart it a troll, Lambert. to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> You promised Ciri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later.
So here we go. I'm going to be in control of this first bit of the dream, and I'll hand over the reins to Lambert later. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion, you should know that. First of all, you know what we have to do while we are here. Let's go talk to my doll in love. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. They don't call me the Rizzler of Blavica for nothing. I missed you. A lot. And I missed you. But we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. That had to be the most awkward exchange I ever have witnessed. Got Only reason you are with Yen is because you are literally twined in Under destiny balance. and fate. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Finally, the key. However, there is one thing we have to do before we head downstairs. You know it, Lambert. I really wish I got to spend more time and care more and... Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. The beauty of this place is wilderness, free, and away from all the deceit and political aspirations of the world. Try not to fall down the stairs, Wolf. Would hate to end your dream here. I'd rather end your snide remarks instead, Lambert. Now pay attention. It's time to see some other familiar faces. Every time, the old man puts himself to slumber, preaching the way down the path. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Geralt, what a way to outwit Vesemir there. I think you may actually have a brain in there after all. so eager to practice. Strike.
take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Look my favorite fellow Witcher. Definitely the best trained, honorable, and person that I truly consider as a brother. Oh, and Lambert is there too. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings. Like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A Witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. So Ciri is sparring against you? She may actually win. No wonder why every lady wants to smack you across the face, Lambert. Sir, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords. I just have a lovable face like that. Speaking of, where did that helmet Find come that from? Helmet? I'm pretty sure the dummy didn't have, or the need for one. You shall see Lambert. Helmet may look familiar, eh? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? Dream? That's some wild magic there. Plus, how did you change outfits between your slumber? Sometimes dreams can be inaccurate, so that's probably the reason. Now quiet Lambert. More backstory for you here. Okay, but after this we gotta have a discussion. You alright? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. 
Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. <laughs> Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything. Wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Mm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I, hear I smell it. Ghouls. Oh yeah, some action. Cut them ghouls down quickly so we can get to conversing. So, Geralt, the face underneath the dummy? Who was it? The face didn't look that all familiar to me. Honestly, I couldn't place the face to be anyone of importance. That's why I didn't mention Let's it to go. Vesemir in Black Crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? However, the helmet could reference it to Never being Kahir, in which Ciri was haunted by in her visions, dreams. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. I wish I could spend more time at White Orchard. The landscape of this place is remarkable. I have only had the chance to do a few contracts close by. 
Besides all the rotting corpses, lynched bodies from trees, and inner political turmoil, you mean? That's a part of the true beauty. We going? Help me! Help! Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but Griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. I don't know who told him that haircut was nice, but they should be thrown into a dungeon. The Griffin saw that haircut from that man and was probably worried about tainted meat. Ha ha. So, a Griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Doesn't seem long ago that helped lift the curse off Foltest's daughter. Now his kingdom is no more. So two witchers walk into a tavern. That's it, that's the joke. What? Witches? I'll not drink with weaver loss freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. 
We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And, seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, Lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks for everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. All right, Geralt. Let's take a break and grab some of that wine from your cellar, and grab some dumplings. We'll start back on the path in a few. Agreed. Major Domo will get the kitchen ready for us. Thanks for joining us, fellow witchers.